As data today becomes more disparate, analyzing, reporting, and archiving that enterprise data becomes increasingly difficult. The CData Sync application is the best way to synchronize your SaaS and cloud data with any database. As an installed application with a straightforward, web-enabled point-and-click interface, DataSync allows you to easily and reliably replicate enterprise data to on-premise and cloud-based databases. This video provides an overview of DataSync and demonstrates how simple it is to configure and maintain a replication job. Let's start with the application itself. When you install and open DataSync, you'll begin on the About page. It's worth noting that replication sources and destinations are licensed based on tiers. Licenses can be managed on the About page. From the Connections page, we can see that CData Sync natively supports 20 sources. If you wish to replicate data from another source, you can download the connector from our website. In this overview, we'll connect to a sample Salesforce account. When you create the connection, you'll need to fill in the required connection properties. Click Test Connection and you're ready to go. Back on the Connections page, we can configure a connection to our replication destination. CData Sync supports popular on-premises databases like DB2, MySQL, SQL Server, and more. Additionally, the application supports replicating to cloud-based data sources like Amazon Redshift, Azure SQL Database, Google BigQuery, and Snowflake. For this overview, we'll connect to Snowflake. Again, we configure the required connection properties, click Test Connection, and save the connection. With the source and destination connections configured, we're ready to create a new replication job. On the Jobs tab, you are able to create, modify, run, and delete your replication jobs. To create a new job, click Add Job. Give your job a name and select a source and destination. We'll use the Salesforce and Snowflake connections we just created. With the connections selected, we can choose which tables to replicate. The Edit feature allows you to customize the replications even more by editing or removing existing columns, adding computed columns, and even filtering the results. In the Advanced section, we get more granular control over how data is replicated, including specifics on what data is replicated and how the data is pushed to the destination database. Normally, we would schedule the job and allow CData Sync to automate the replication. For this overview, we will run the replication job manually. This functionality is also useful if you want to test the output of the job or manually trigger the initial replication. Note that all replications are incremental so only the deltas from the last replication will be pulled from the source and pushed to the destination. With the replication job executed, we can take a look at the status tab to see a history of the jobs run and explore the logs for our jobs, whether they completed successfully or not. Lastly, we'll look at the API tab, which documents the OData interface for the CData Sync app, allowing you to manage your replication from any development framework or tool capable of working with an OData API. You can create and manage connections and jobs execute or cancel existing jobs, and even execute custom replication queries. As you've seen, CData Sync allows you to create and maintain a replica of your SaaS and cloud data, making it easily accessible from common database tooling, software drivers, and analytics. If you have any questions, reach out to our support team by emailing support at cdata.com. Download a free 30-day trial of the Sync application from cdata.com sync and see the CData difference for yourself.